Well, I unfortunately, I believe that uh, we are continuing to head into uh, uh, new, uh, new areas of even deeper financial collapse. Uh, before we talk about what will come after, we still have to deal with what, is, uh, what, it, what will be the effect over the next few years as one country after another. As we, we see the situation in, uh, in Greece and Spain with, I mean, 30 percent, 25 percent unemployment rates in these countries, and uh, that, uh, uh, that as these austerity measures keep being imposed on populations around the globe, uh, the destitution that will occur, that people who have been working all their lives expecting that pension systems and social security systems would, would see them through their retirement years are now facing the possibility that, uh, that these things are being taken away and that they're going to be thrust back into poverty after decades of working uh, so hard to maintain their families and eke out a, a decent standard of living. Uh, and um, the United States, interestingly, has not suffered as much only because, to the credit of the Obama administration, it was able to beat back the worst of the austerity measures that some people in the, in the political circles in this country wanted. So that, in essence, uh, the United States right now is benefiting from the fact that Europe is in economic uh, uh, collapse, uh, and is uh, and the banks of the United States are reaping the benefits of the fact uh, uh, of what's going on in. Greece and Cyprus and Spain and Italy and these other countries.